2003, Arnold Schwarzenegger took a break from terminating people to become governor of California. His big idea was a hydrogen highway, a chain of filling stations for hydrogen-powered cars. We launched that landmark hydrogen highway because years ago they always talked about we don't want to produce hydrogen vehicles because there are no fueling stations around. So I said, well, let's get started. The idea collapsed along with the Californian economy in 2008. But now, just like the Terminator, the hydrogen highway is back. The state authorities in California are opening new stations. 50 in the next few years, 50 more after that, which will be enough to drive anywhere in California using hydrogen fuel alone. But the first crucial station is opening halfway between Los Angeles and Palo Alto, the hub of Silicon Valley. That station is not yet open to the public. It opens in a few weeks' time, but we've had special dispensation to use it, which means we're going to become the first journalist to drive the hydrogen highway. just left Los Angeles, heading north on Highway 405 towards Palo Alto in the middle of Silicon Valley. Uh, we hope to be able to do it on two tanks of hydrogen, uh, so we've got to stop and fill up about halfway. Our destination today is a place called Harris Ranch, which is um, very exciting. The car we're driving is a Hyundai Tucson. It looks no different from the standard version of the car, but under the bonnet is a hydrogen fuel cell powering electric motors. The advantage over a petrol or diesel engine is that it produces no pollution. The only thing coming out of the exhaust is water vapour. But is it better than a battery powered car? Some of the key advantages of hydrogen are a very quick refueling speed, around three to five minutes. Very, very quick electric fuels that vehicles, as you know, can take much longer to, to replenish their batteries. Another benefit is as a pretty good range of 265 miles, which is comparable, comparable to many gasoline vehicles. A lot, most uh, electric vehicles at this time are around the 100 mile range, so you need to plan your day out around that range. With 265 miles of range, you have much more flexibility for you and your family. Okay, so we're here at the first refueling stop. It's about 200 miles from Los Angeles. It's a place called Harris Ranch. Uh, it's in the middle of a big shell filling station. Uh, it's the only one for miles around. There's nothing between here and Silicon Valley. Um, so let's hope we can fill up using this American credit card that somebody's kindly loaned me. Put the nozzle on firmly, pull up the lever. This is the pressure button. This is uh, about 700 bar. So there we are, simple as that. No different really from filling your car with diesel or petrol. Uh, it's gonna take a, a couple of minutes for the tank to pressurize, so just time for a cup of coffee. While I was having coffee, I caught up with the founder of one of the independent fuel companies that has resurrected the hydrogen highway. Within five to six, seven years, you're gonna find the cost of hydrogen actually cheaper than a gallon of gas here in the United States. That's our holy grail. That's the thing we're all uh, after. That will increase the adoption rates of these cars exponentially is when people start saying they're cheaper to fill and they go farther and they got zero emissions and I'm no longer relying on foreign oil and I'm not putting any smog in the atmosphere. Now we got the perfect story to tell and we're getting there. We are changing the world. Between this and battery electric vehicles, we will change uh, the way people drive, not only here in the United States, but around the world. Our fuel cell car attracted a great deal of interest en route, but I wondered how many people had even heard of Arnie's Highway. Hello, sir. Have you ever heard of the Hydrogen Highway? The what? Hydrogen Highway. Do you know you can drive all the way from Los Angeles to San Francisco? Just filling up with hydrogen. No, no gasoline, no fumes, just water vapor coming out of the... This is the future. <laughs> yes. No, I've heard, I've heard of that, that technology before, but never that highway you're talking about. Well, oh, just like a uh, yeah. Tesla, huh? A bit like a Tesla, yeah, it's an electric car, but instead of a big battery, you get a tank of hydrogen, and that generates the electricity. But you haven't heard of the hydrogen highway. And now you're gonna give us a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys have a good day. I got to pay you to do my job. Okay. Okay. 
whole sheet, but I nearly got a ticket. So it's our last fill up. We've done another 200 miles and we're here next to San Francisco Airport. Hence it's very noisy. We've got a freeway on one side of us, a runway on the other. Let's see if we can fill up with hydrogen again. It's taken three and a half kilos of hydrogen. So in total on this journey, seven kilograms, and it's cost us about $120. Now, in a petrol powered vehicle, we would have used 50 liters. So about 50 kilograms of fuel and it would have cost us 40 or 50 dollars. Need my receipt. And next and final stop is downtown San Francisco. We've driven this car now on freeways and on interstates and the remarkable thing is that it's unremarkable. Is it expensive? Uh, it's $499 a month to lease. You can't actually buy it. You do get three years of free fueling and it drives pretty much like any other electric or petrol electric hybrid. We're here at our final destination, the Golden Gate Bridge. After 400 miles of driving from Los Angeles up the hydrogen highway. Now the California state authorities are putting a lot of money into this to make it the next big thing. Will they succeed? Well, only time will tell. It's the end of the road for us, but maybe it's the start of the hydrogen revolution.